good morning, everybody. Uh, our presentation will be about uh, the current and future state uh, of development uh, of uh, EVT, uh, specifically uh, about uh, the uh, user interface issues that uh, we are trying to solve. Uh, EVT is um, uh, quite a simple tool. You just feed uh, your TI encoded uh, documents uh, to uh, a style sheet, and then uh, a web edition is produced, uh, client only, uh, which can be copied uh, on a web server and used immediately. Uh, it was born within uh, um, a specific project, uh, the Digital Vercelli Book Project, but uh, we uh, tried to make it uh, as uh, general purpose as possible, and in fact now it is used by uh, several more projects. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the drives uh, for new development was uh, the uh, feature requests coming from other projects. But as a, at a certain point, uh, uh, I felt that uh, the natural uh, evolution path uh, was that uh, of adding um, support for critical editions, which is something that I need for the Vercelli book edition. So we faced uh, two problems. Uh, one, the first one, uh, we noticed that uh, the uh, current framework wasn't uh, as flexible as we thought. And uh, problem number two, that happened right when we <coughs> needed uh, the most uh, flexibility and expandability because we had uh, a new um, uh, feature, a very important feature to add uh, to uh, the software. Before uh, moving to the design phase, uh, we did uh, a sort of a state-of-the-art survey, which was, uh, which was uh, quite uh, interesting, because uh, uh, it turned out that uh, uh, you know very well that uh, there has been a first generation of uh, digital editions which were reproducing uh, on the digital medium uh, the uh, printed page layout. And uh, a second generation, which uh, is more interesting because uh, much more innovative uh, um, on the user interface side. Well, I discovered that uh, the uh, first generation editions were, in a way, more easier to use because uh, I recognized immediately the layout, since it was very similar to the printed one. While uh, I think that one of the current uh, problems of uh, digital editions is that uh, uh, each one has uh, its own uh, user interface. So there is a sort of learning curve that uh, you have uh, to uh, undergo so that you can learn to use uh, the digital edition. Uh, so our preliminary conclusions were that uh, um, all the innovation experimentation that we saw in this kind of uh, digital editions uh, is positive, is necessary, <coughs> but also uh, entails um, some problems uh, with uh, the current generation. And we decided to review, reconsider our um, layout uh, on this uh, basis. Was it also bad? Uh, is it just uh, the fact that uh, I could, uh, uh, how can I say, feel at home in a traditional edition uh, all negative? We decided that we had to reconsider this particular aspect uh, when designing the new interface. Okay, so I will explain you all the path that um, brought us to the new version of EVT. So before the refactoring, EVT, that we call EVT1, was composed of two main units. We had the EVT Builder, that is a chain of XSLT transformations that, will, that took, take the XML and transform it into HTML. And EVT Viewer, that is a, actually a web application for the visualization of the results of this transformation. The idea under the new version of EVT is instead to leave the EVT viewer the task of reading and parsing the XML and kind of save as much as possible within a data model, a JSON data model, that persists in the client memory, main memory and is organized in such a way that data retrieval is very quick and 
and easy to access. This has led us to the elimination of the EVT Builder level, and therefore it allows to open a digital edition without any previous XSLT transformations, so directly on the web browser. We decided to use the model view controller approach that is a very common pattern in object-oriented programming. Uh, we choose this approach because uh, it separates uh, the logical presentation of the data from the application logic of, and the processing core. And so it allows uh, a greater independence between uh, the involved components and the text, and uh, it also give us a simpler application maintainability, so a greater and easier way to build new features. As in EVT1, the interface of EVT2 is built using standard technologies, and in particular we chose AngularJS, that is a JavaScript framework that is especially designed for the realization of single-page client-only web applications. So after the definition of uh, the new infrastructure, we focused on the design of the UI. Following the main principle of the human-computer interaction on good UI implementations, we started from the requirement uh, drawing up a detailed list of every functionalities and features we wanted to have in our viewer. So before defining a complete graphic UI, we modeled every single component, highlighting its unique characteristics and modalities of mutual interaction. The most uh, difficult elements to design were the critical apparatus and the witness collection, collection view. In modeling the layout of the critical apparatus, we moved toward a solution that would combine tradition and traditional elements on one side and innovation elements on the other side. In this way, we wanted to try to offer the scholar uh, something that he, it, he is used to see and to deal with, but at the same time, we wanted to try to fully exploit the potentialities of the electronic medium. In this way, we, we allowed uh, actually both better access to what is traditionally presented in a critical edition and also a new access to what is normally excluded because of space uh, limits uh, of the printed editions. The main problem in this case was uh, the uh, definition of the effective layout and the placement of these apparatus. So we tried different solutions before arriving at the final, for the moment, final one. The first solution was, uh, um, the, um, was an inline pop-up that stays raised above the text, where all the contents are divided into different sections. <coughs> this solution has been discarded because um, the available space is in fact quite limited, especially if you want to add more content than the usual. Moreover, it covers the text, so uh, it forces the user to see, to see and read only or the apparatus or the text, and not both uh, simultaneously. So we tried a different solution um, that used additional frames uh, on the side of the main text in which to place the different contents of the apparatus. On the one hand, this solution is able to maintain a certain clarity regarding the logic functionalities and placement of all the elements and the components of this apparatus. On the other hand, however, it, is, it implies a quite big decrease of the available space where to place all the other elements. And this was a problem because we wanted also to allow a parallel version of the text, so a collection view, and in this way we didn't have much space for this. So we arrived at our finally, final solution 
that um, allows the user to read the critical apparatus without covering the text and without using additional frames. The virtual space uh, is available is qu if it's quite large and this allows uh, to clearly divide all the contents that we wanted to add to the traditional apparatus. On the top, you can see the traditional apparatus composed of the lemma and the significant readings, and under it, all the all other com contents divided into special and proper tabs. Here you can see um, the effective layout of uh, this apparatus, and as you can see, uh, the text of the, the critical test text is not hidden by the apparatus, and you can access all other uh, contents just by clicking on the tab header. So, the other problem uh, in the definition of the UI was the um, definition of the witness collection view. In this problem, the main, in this case, the main problem was the interface scalability with many witnesses to compare. Taking into account that it is impossible to see everything at the same time, even on the screen, in the find the layout for this view, we tried to find a good solution that would have allowed to visual the visualization of as many witnesses as possible, but keeping always the interface neat and clean at all the time. In this case, also in this case, we consider different view, and in particular, we tried considering the views that already existed in EVT, uh, but uh, we discarded those solutions because, uh, in our opinion, they seemed too difficult to browse and study. So we arrived at a, fa a final solution where the single text of each witness is placed side by side to the other witnesses, and there is a, a clear distinction between them and the critical text. The frame of the critical text is always bigger than the other, and uh, we will see that it has also a different color, so the distinction is clear. And the frames of the witnesses are resized automatically, but uh, they will reach a minimum size beyond which uh, the horizontal scrolling is activated, as you can see here in the second line mockups. In this way, the critical text will remain always fixed on the left-hand side of the screen, and so it will remain, it will be used, it can be used always as a reference point for the comparisons and the, the study of all the other witnesses. So this is our kind of innovation uh, of the UI. This, uh, um, are, um, I will show you briefly all the other um, features that we designed and developed. Um, so we designed this uh, heat map that um, allows to have an immediate comprehension of the variability of the tradition. And uh, in this case, uh, the, the color, the intensity of the color will be um, deeper and uh, stronger when there are more uh, variants, uh, more readings for the, the particular uh, uh, lemma. Then we have uh, the readings filters that allows the user to decide which readings to highlight in the text. So if I am not interested, for example, in the uh, omission, I can just, uh, I can decide to filter them out so that I don't have the highlight of them and the, the reading is not uh, distracting. And uh, at last, uh, our uh, important feature, another important feature is the bookmark to tool, which gives uh, the scholar the possibility to share a particular view of the edition with other, per with other people, other scholars or students uh, who can access to it. In this case, uh, mm, 
we will save uh, information about the view, the current document, and also the critical entry selected, so that the user who can who will access uh, um, the, um, the edition will arrive directly at the same point uh, that the, the previous scholar was, uh, was seeing. So um, we, we, we saw that once defined the model behind the everything. Sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe I can just. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So we, we saw that uh, once they find the model behind everything, the development of each feature was uh, quite easy and rapid. And this proved us, uh, in some way, that Angular was a good choose uh, to make. So I will. Um... Okay. Uh, I don't have much time Sorry. left. Uh, so I think that uh, the uh, task for a user interface designer is uh, very difficult. We have uh, multi dimensional uh, information that can only be shown in two dimensions, uh, which is why we chose uh, the sliding sliders uh, layers uh, approach, uh, which uh, was mentioned uh, yesterday. Um, another conclusion is that uh, if we aim for intuitive, uh, we have to accept the fact that uh, often intuitive just means uh, familiar. So this is a precise choice uh, that uh, we made. Future developments, uh, we are thinking of uh, uh, going to, uh, to follow the same path uh, and add uh, uh, traditional layout uh, and hideable dynamic frames uh, that uh, can hold uh, more content. For instance, uh, the uh, source <coughs> text for an edition, uh, a second layer of critical apparatus, commentary notes, and more. And uh, uh, two uh, other tasks, uh, a deporting of the EVT1 features into uh, EVT2, and then adding uh, a very important feature that is uh, going uh, not only from uh, the uh, critical text uh, to the witness, uh, which we uh, already do, but uh, to the image that uh, holds uh, that specific reading. Thank you very much. <laughs>